Long Island ranks number two in the nation for places veterans call home, and a recent grant is helping them deal with stressful issues before they become bad enough to risk the loss of home or family. Summer is the most difficult time to find troubled veterans, according to Michael Stoltz at Suffolk County United Veterans. He says they can use their military skills to camp outdoors or live in a vehicle. But preventive measures are now underway to help them deal with stress and transition problems that could leave them out in the cold come winter. If we could give them a place to go, provide some peer support and uh, clinical services, we could help mitigate the situations before the veteran became homeless and before the family uh, would break up. A $30,000 grant from the Long Island Community Foundation is funding a 24-hour peer-supported crisis respite and support services program for veterans. Stoltz says repeated returns to battle have resulted in a wide range of challenges for returning veterans. Particularly with our more recent veterans who were really uh, not doing well, struggling with family distress and disturbances and uh, you know, sometimes complicated by substances and emotional turmoil and sometimes transition issues. He says the grant makes a major difference with so many veterans headed to Long Island. The island is the metropolitan region in the country, second only behind San Diego for where veterans live. Kind of backs up why it is so important that we have a good healthy range of services to be able to help uh, veterans of all ages. The crisis respite program operates out of the John J. Lynch Veterans Place Shelter in Yapank. Mike Clifford, New York News Connection.